everyone, today I have a nail art tutorial for these fun arrow and chevron nails. I saw these on Pinterest and I wasn't sure who exactly did these, but I pretty much copied their ideas. So if you know who did these, please let me know in the comments so I can give them credit. I started by painting my middle finger this pretty light gray polish. And then on top I painted three lines like that. And then on those three lines at the very end, I am doing two short lines on each side to make the bottom part of the arrow. And then on each of the three lines on top, just make a small triangle for the point of the arrow. So it's very simple, that's all you have to do for that, and then just seal them in with a fast drying top coat. For the chevron nails, start by painting your nails white and then applying a layer of top coat to make sure that when we use all the tape and stuff, none of it peels off the polish. Apply a strip of striping tape um, about a quarter of the way of your nail and then fill that empty area in with some of that matching gray polish. Once you've finished painting, immediately remove the tape. Next, I'm going to be using this awesome holographic chevron tape I got from bornprettystore.com. I'll leave the link down below. And this is so cool because you have, um, you know, pre-done up for you striping tape. So, you know, you can do a bunch of chevron nails without having to buy vinyls and stuff. And this tape is really long, so you'll get a lot of use out of it. So I'm just cutting out some strips of those chevrons, and then I'm going to peel those chevron stickers off of their backing and then put them onto my nail in evenly spaced areas. Around my nail I'm applying some nail candy liquid latex to protect the areas that I don't want covered up in blue for the chevrons. I'm painting on my blue polish over my chevron tape and then once I've finished covering up all of my empty white area with the blue polish I'm going to immediately remove the chevron tape for nice and neat clean lines. You also want to quickly remove the liquid latex. Now all that's left to do is apply a final layer of top coat and that's it. So here's the finished look. I love how these turned out. Again, I copied this idea from something I saw on Pinterest and I thought they were really cool so I tried them. I hope you guys like them too. If you decide to recreate this look, please share your recreations with me using the hashtag EABNR on Instagram or Twitter. Follow me on there too. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more nail art tutorials soon and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!